United States Congressman Tony Gonzalez is a 20-year military veteran who serves in the 23rd District of Texas. Gonzalez recently gave me an exclusive interview in which he talked about the crisis at the southern border caused by what he calls a broken system, one that he says could prove to be disastrous for the country. This administration hasn't been transparent in any form or fashion. We saw that with Afghanistan. We've seen that with the border. We're seeing that with the current reconciliation package. I mean, it's just nonstop. One of the provisions in that multi-trillion dollar reconciliation package will grant amnesty to up to 10 million illegal migrants. Gonzalez recently took part in a Capitol Hill briefing in which he said the move is sending out a bad signal for illegals. What's really frustrating is this administration has had zero discussions on legal immigration reform. So to me, they're not even trying to solve this long term. Meanwhile, we were seeing historic numbers. Those numbers pushing migrant apprehensions at the southern border in fiscal year 2021 to more than 1.7 million. Gonzalez told me that reinstating the Remain in Mexico policy is the first step in getting the crisis under control. Whether they agree with it or not, the Remain in Mexico policy worked. And, and those type of policies need to be reinstated if we are going to get any kind of control over our southern border. Because if otherwise, if this continues to happen this way, there is only a matter of time before something deadly happens to Americans. The last thing any of us want to see is another 9-11 event. In August, the Supreme Court ordered the Biden administration to reinstate the Remain in Mexico policy, something they signaled they would do in November, but have since changed course. And now a plan to give illegal migrants that were separated at the border during the Trump era no tolerance policy may cost American taxpayers upwards of $1 billion. 450,000 per person, 1 million per family. I mean, uh, Americans don't get those type of, of, uh, of uh, resources. These policies are deadly. You know how many people have died this year due to uh, Biden's failed policies? 557 migrants have perished in this dangerous trek. In addition, a federal vaccine mandate that's set to go into effect on November 22nd could potentially cost 5,000 Border Patrol agents their jobs, which, according to Gonzalez, will pose a danger to national security. This is a major problem for the administration to threaten to fire Border Patrol agents when at a historic time when uh, our border is out of control and immigration numbers are through the roof. If we lose these agents, you can't simply turn the spigot back on. You know, it takes about, right now, it takes about 400 days uh, to hire a new agent. And then once a new agent is hired, it takes them about 20 weeks of training before they get spun up. Gonzalez has introduced a bipartisan Border Solutions Act, but getting things done in Washington hasn't proven to be an easy task for the Texas congressman. Not everybody up here wants to solve things. Not everybody up here wants to have a sit down and have a, uh, have a conversation on the tough issues like immigration, like border security. These are very tough issues that aren't new to uh, to our country, not new to Congress, but uh, just finding those partners that are willing to have a reasonable conversation has been very difficult, but we'll stay at it.